What's up everyone? I'm John and I'm here today to do a review of the Dive Blue Nomad. I want everyone to know that this is a completely unsolicited review. I personally bought the Nomad because I was interested in trying out a tankless dive system. I am a recreational scuba diver. In no way, shape, or form am I a professional, and my review or use of this product should not be anything more than a YouTube review. For those of you that don't know, this is the Nomad. It's a tankless diving system that allows you to go up to 30 feet underwater. When the product arrived, I was so excited, I immediately went online and did the online dive training course, which you can do for free on your phone right now. There's definitely some redundant information from some of the PADI courses I've taken. However, safety is so important with this stuff, so I appreciate that. I know that the Nomad is only designed to go down to 30 feet, but I do wish they would have included some information regarding dive tables, especially knowing there are going to be people who are buying multiple batteries to go with their kit. After going through all the paperwork, it was time to get in the pool. I'll admit there was definitely some initial hesitation. However, the regulator is super comfortable in mouth. Having the air hose come off the back of the neck will take some getting used to. The Nomad volume isn't too bad underwater, but you can definitely hear it. And even though inhalations don't feel as fluid, it works well. I wanted to experiment a little by pulling it across the pool and breathing in the deeper end. Also tested out the purge function, which worked flawlessly. Went back to the shallow end to test out what removing the chest harness would feel like. Hopefully I never get entangled, but it's pretty straightforward. The real test, however, comes taking it out on an actual dive. So I went over to a local beach. Immediately, I was so appreciative of how lightweight and compact the Nomad is. As you can see, I have my dive bag and the Nomad easily in tow. Being compact and lightweight are one thing, but is it going to be able to perform out there in the ocean? I spent some time on the beach gearing up and getting ready. Unpacking and gearing up is way more simple with the Nomad. Having all the gear contained in one bag is super convenient. As you can see, way more compact compared to lugging multiple tanks or even one tank. Having the dive flag and the dual purpose high visibility dry bag attached to the unit is a nice added layer of safety that I really appreciate. I definitely need to figure out a better way of hauling the hose on my entry into the water, but that's a me problem, not a nomad problem. Let's do it! <laughs> Even clumsily carrying it over some rocks felt much better than having a tank on my back. Pulling the Nomad around in the ocean was definitely a different experience than in the pool. As you can see, the waves definitely push the device around more, but that's to be expected. Being aware of the hose and crossing its path and kicking it on the way down are also me problems. I'll definitely get better at that as I use it more often. Exiting the water and breaking down the gear is also significantly easier. Okay, so all that to be said, I really liked the Nomad. The three things that I liked about it the most, one, it's compact. It makes traveling and carrying gear so much easier. Two, it's so convenient. Being able to dive off of a battery charge makes it so much easier for someone like me to get out and explore. And three, the price. Obviously this is dependent based off your frequency and depth of diving, but for me, the Nomad captures about 90% of what I wanna do in the water. It's a different story if you have your own dive gear, but I don't. Three things that I don't like about the Nomad. Number one, the inhalations just don't feel as fluid as they do in a, in a tank diving situation. And maybe that's just a function of how it works and I have to get over it, but I still don't really like it. Two, regulator placement. I'm so used to sweeping my arm if I lose my regulator and having it attached to the back of the head is just gonna take some getting used to. I'm so trained to do this, this, this sweeping motion. Hopefully, I never have to deal with it anyway. Number three, a battery alert. I get it. 
we have about 45 minutes worth of diving time. I just wish there was an added functionality where you could see how much battery life you had or something would pop up when you have low battery, especially underwater. I'd love to hear your thoughts about the Nomad or any other tankless diving system in the comments. That'll do it for me. I hope you all enjoyed my review of the Dive Blue Nomad. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.